I've got way too many makeup primers. So another edition of Toss, Treasure, or Try Again. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Anne. My channel is Fabulous Life 101. And if you're not already a subscriber, could you please hit that subscribe button right now, as well as the bell notifications. On our channel, we do everything from makeup to meditation to fashion to anything that makes you feel more fabulous at any age. Well, I've got a confession to make. Up until a couple of years ago, I never wore primers. But then I started following a lot of makeup YouTubers, and I began to realize that a primer has a lot of purposes. One, it can make your foundation last better, look better, go over smoother. There's some of these promise to do pretty much everything from blur your pores to fill in your wrinkles. They're supposed to be just absolute miracles for your face, your under eye, whatever. So in here, I've got over 20 of them, and it's time to weed out the pile. Okay, y'all. Well, I'm going to start by, these are my very favorites, definitely going to be treasures. Elf Poreless Putty Primer and Luminous Putty Primer. The Luminous just has a little more of a shine to it. Um, good if you're wearing maybe a matte makeup and powder. Uh, Elf the Poreless is particularly good if your makeup is extra creamy. They are cheap. $8 a piece, I think. You can get them at Ulta, at Target, at Walmart, pretty much anywhere that sells e.l.f. Are they miracle products? No, not really, but they do help the makeup go on smoother. They are compared favorably to very, very expensive rivals. So yeah, these are my treasures right here. However, as much as I love the e.l.f., they can do a couple of bombs. This is one, the e.l.f. Potty Eye Primer. I thought, well, if the regular makeup is good, why shouldn't this one be? It's like chalk. It has no creaminess. It's just really hard to even put on your finger, much less under your eye, where you things need to go on smooth and you don't need to pull on the skin. So unfortunately, little elf, you're going bye-bye. All right, this is another thing that I like as a primer. I bought it thinking it might be a foundation, but instead, I found it works better as a primer. And this is the Catrice One Minute Face Perfector. And this is, it's got a little bit of a color to it. It's something that I think works really well to maybe mix with sunscreen and put on your face prior to putting on another makeup. So this is another treasure. And this is, I think it may have been discontinued. I haven't been able to find it recently. All right. Here's one I just recently tried, Joa Blur Activator Infused with Camellia Oil Mineral Primer. Overall, it's okay. It's pretty good. It's average or above average, but does it really blur? Not necessarily. You do feel the minerals. It does feel good on your skin because of the mineral oil, and I think it's a good for your skin type of thing, so I will keep it, occasionally use it. All right, this one, Revolution Pore Blur. Yeah, Blur and Prime Primer by Revolution. And let's see, I try to show it to you on my hand. And you'll see like some little lines on my hand. I, it's not, doesn't really do much of anything. It does make it a little bit soft and silky. It's not bad but it doesn't really blur. But I will keep it. These two I bought special deal from Laura Geller, the Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer. This one is the Rose Glow, and this is just the white. And again, Skin Perfecting, Spackle, you know, you think about if you use Spackle on your walls, it's to fill in holes or something like that. It doesn't seem to do that. It just makes it kind of shine and sort of emphasizes the wrinkles if you don't put foundation on top of it. Here's this this one with the rose glow. I think I like a little bit better because it does make your skin sort of glow. These, I tell you when I use these, is when I use the Laura Geller Powder Foundation because they are, it is very creamy, very moist. It goes well under sort of powder foundation, but otherwise I think I'll stick to my elf. Well, this is something that I surprisingly love. Well, not surprisingly, because I pretty much like almost anything from ColourPop. But this is called Coconut Face Milk. 
It isn't advertised as a primer, it's just advertised as sort of a moisturizer, but I have found that it works really well as a primer. And it gives, it gives a juice to your face, it has just enough of a texture to make the foundation cling. And it smells like coconut milk. It's very fresh, very natural. I like this. ColourPop, again, gets rave reviews from me. Okay, Milk Hydro Primer, Hydro Grip Primer. This is one of the more expensive primers I bought. And for that reason, I don't use it that often. It is very good. It is a gel-based primer. It goes on very, very smooth. It sort of makes the makeup adhere to your skin. It does have a little bit of a, a little bit of a sort of smoothing out the texture of your skin. So yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites, but again, it's so expensive that I don't use it that often. Okay, number seven, Airbrush Away Primer. Uh, suitable for sensitive skin. And again, it's sort of average. I don't know whether it really airbrushes away anything, but it's good, smooth, uh, helps your makeup stay on, a, maybe last a little longer. Overall, yeah, I like it. Bare Minerals Prime Time. I bought it as part of a kit with Bare Minerals. It is just sort of a typical gel primer. No better, no worse. Generally, I will use it with the Bare Minerals makeup since I think they're sort of chemically formulated to work together. Here's another one from NYX, Pore Filler Primer Base. And this one, this one, it's just kind of lumpy a little bit. Also, it's probably kind of old and maybe just past its prime. So I think this is another toss. And this is by Catrice Camouflage Under Eye Primer. I do like the Catrice brand. Um, this I have found does work well as an under eye primer if you don't just use the regular primer put it on before you put on your concealer and before any of your makeup and it just sort of helps the concealer sort of mask the lines because sometimes concealers could actually settle into lines and this seems to prevent this a little bit so yeah I like this a lot another under eye concealer Too Faced Shadow Insurance again it's pretty good what I found with this though, it is fairly expensive anyway, but it's, it, yeah. But it is, it has almost like a little bit of concealer, a little bit of an oily texture. It just um, provides sort of a little resting place for your concealer to prevent it from settling into lines. Overall, yeah, this is a thumbs up. And this one is Thrive Cosmetics Eye Lift 360 Waterproof Primer. Particularly when used with the Thrive Eye Cream and the Thrive Concealer, it all works together really well. And this one, this was one of my TJ Maxx finds. Pure No Filter Primer Bronze. And that's kind of interesting because you think of a bronzer as something going on on top of your makeup and this goes on underneath. But I have found, put this on and sort of mix it with the foundation and it sort of helps the foundation to hold up. It acts sort of as both a primer and a bronzer. So it's not my number one go-to, but it is something that I like to use occasionally and play with. All right, what's this one? Milani Eyeshadow Primer. Oh, this is the first eyeshadow primer I bought, and I really like it. It's a cheap drugstore brand, Milani, and again, it's not much in here, and I think it's almost empty, but it's just sort of a smooth color. It sort of blends in with your concealer and it just sort of provides a base for the concealer to help prevent settling into lines. So I think this is really a good deal for your money compared to some of the more um, expensive premium brands. And here's one I bought, Essence High Beauty Hybrid Hydrating Face Primer. And this one actually has hemp oil in it. And hemp oil is very nutritious. Some people do have allergies to it, so if you you need to test it first. But I have found this is a very, very soothing, almost balm-like primer. And yeah, I like that. It's not something I use every day, but when I do use it, I really like it. 
just a few more left in here. And this is another one that I tried multiple times. I got because of ads on Instagram and it's called Airfit Pore Primer. This was one that had the ads that showed wrinkles just disappearing and, and it being some sort of a miracle cream. It was not, it's an okay primer. It, it has sort of a pink color. It's kind of soothing. Um, it goes on fairly smooth, but it's not going to make your wrinkles disappear. So does it do what it was advertised to do? No. Is it a bad product overall? No, not really. I'm not going to get rid of it just yet. I've got enough left in here. I do want to try and use it up. And this is, I think, a sample I got. Becca Backlight Priming Filter. But the Becca brand, unfortunately, is going under. And it's a shame because I did really like this. It's just a nice, soft, creamy base that you just can kind of put on your face. It doesn't really fill the lines, but it does sort of smooth over and it does provide a good base for your foundation. But unfortunately, it's going out of business. And the final one on here is The Ordinary. And you can't go wrong with The Ordinary. It's sort of like ColourPop, one of those brands that I've never really found a bad product. Some of the products are my absolute favorites. This is not really my absolute favorites, but it is particularly with the one with The Ordinary Foundation. It's just a nice liquid, clear liquid primer, like The Ordinary's whole concept. Very clean, very basic. It does smooth over. It does provide a good base. It does tend to fill in pores a little bit. It is, it's, it's a good product. So, okay, again, I think I only tossed two things. So that's the video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. Have a fabulous day. Peace, love, and light.